Hello, and welcome to the fifth episode in this new SolidWorks Composer Quick Start Guide. In the last video, we talked about how to use and create styles. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a bill of materials in Composer. Let's get started. A bill of materials lists the components that make up an assembly. It's a useful deliverable both for companies and for consumers. And fortunately, Composer makes it incredibly easy to create one. Let's start by navigating to the Bill of Materials workshop. We click the Workshops tab, and under the Publishing section, select the BOM button. Before we create our Bill of Materials, let's clear the existing BOM IDs. Click the Reset BOM IDs button. This will allow us to create our own Bill of Materials from scratch. Now we'll go to the Definition tab and set property name to Name, open parentheses, actor name, close parentheses. This will create our BOM IDs based on the names of each actor. Depending on the names of these actors, you may wish to select the Compare Property button and use the Skip Characters from Right function. This ignores a specified number of characters when assigning BOM IDs. Using this function, a piece called Cover 1 could be automatically assigned the same BOM ID as Cover 2. Another way to make a set of BOM IDs is using their geometry. Instead of selecting the Compare Property button, let's select the Compare Geometry button. If we generate IDs with this selected, it will give all pieces with the same shape the same ID. We can also adjust the degree of similarity required to share an ID number by choosing By Similarity instead of Exact. After we've generated our ID numbers, we can display them in a table. In the BOM workshop, click the Show Hide BOM Table button to toggle its appearance. The default columns are a description of the piece, its ID number, and its quantity. We can make changes to the table by selecting it, then going to the Properties tab. We can change its placement, the size of the font, the text color, and more. If we want to change the columns of the table, we can go to the BOM tab in the left panel. Click the Customize BOM Columns button to open a window in which you can add and delete the currently activated columns. If we want pieces of the assembly labeled, we can use the Callouts feature. Select the piece or pieces you want labeled, then click the Create Callouts button in the BOM workshop. The labels created contain the BOM ID of the selected pieces. The size and shape of the labels can be changed in the Properties tab. There's one more feature we should cover in regards to the Bill of Materials. Let's say I've already created a BOM within SOLIDWORKS, and I want to import it into Composer. We can click File, Open. I'll navigate to my assembly, and in the SOLIDWORKS tab, I'll make sure the Import SOLIDWORKS BOM box is checked. Now when I open it, after a brief conversion process, you can see that our SOLIDWORKS bill of materials is now open within Composer. And that's it! Creating a bill of materials in SOLIDWORKS Composer is an incredibly easy process, but its utility is enormous. As always, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the blogs and forums for more fantastic SOLIDWORKS Composer content. Next video, we'll talk about generating technical illustrations and how they can be combined with a bill of materials to create an insightful new angle on your product. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.